There are so many interesting museums and factories that are open to the public in Japan. This time we will be going to the Asahi Beer Factory in Osaka. The Asahi Beer Factory provides an informative tour where you can learn about the factory's history and beer production. You also get a free beer tasting session at the end. Now the factory tours are very popular. We could only book ourselves in for the 10.30am tour. Yep, we had beer before lunch. And the awesome thing is the whole tour is free of charge. The tour is conducted in Japanese, but you can request for an English audio phone, which translates the context of the tour for you during your visit. After visiting the history corner, you'll be taken to the beer production section where you'll learn about the beer making process. Here is the part where you can learn about the barley they use for their beers. There are even taster bottles for guests to try the barley too. Barley anyone? The light up wall display is a flowchart. It shows the process which the barley has to go through to create the beer that we drink. Asahi packages their beers in bottles as well as cans. Here is the bottling department. What for the beer is kept in these enormous tanks outside. After some outdoor fermentation, the beer goes through a filtration process where we end up with a perfect golden coloured draft beer. Apart from having good tasting beer, the quality control department perform tests on the beer to make sure there are no hazardous microorganisms in the product. Now this funky looking machine belongs to the canning department. These aluminium cans are filled with beer before getting packaged into boxes. It's pretty fascinating seeing all these little cans whizzing all over the place. a green section, an area where visitors can learn about Asahi's green approach towards the environment. You can also learn about Asahi's environmental projects. Okay, this is pretty impressive. Their staff uniforms are made from plastic bottles. The campaign wall! Here are the recent Asahi beer campaigns. They have a seasonal cherry blossom can. Following some down escalators, you can see some of the earlier Asahi campaigns, dated back as far as the 1930s. Once you're done admiring the vintage posters, you'll end up here, a collection of beer bottles and cans from all over the world. My favourite design has to be this snowman skiing. It looks so cute! some beer tasting.
Apart from beer, they also serve non-alcoholic drinks, like fruit juices. After the tour, we pop to the souvenir shop to see what sort of goodies they have to offer. Not only can you purchase alcohol, you can also get yourself some snacks and soup. So that's the end of my tour at the Sahi Factory. I'll see you guys next time.